Hey guys, welcome back to Charlie and me, our camping vlog. It is a Saturday. It's Saturday the 26th of August. And myself and Charlie are going to take the Heimer off and head off down to Clonakilty for Saturday night and Sunday night. We're heading to Sexton's for the first trip, which is this video. And then the next video will be from Mountain Forge. Mountain Forge Escape also in Clonakilty. Both campsites we've been to before. This one, Sexton's, have made a few changes since we were there last. And the last time we were there, Charlie and me were actually in the B-Baw. So I'm really looking forward to heading down for the weekend in the Heimer. This video is brought to you with thanks to our friends at Pat Horan Motors. More details about Pat Horan Motors, the camper centre of Ireland, later on during this video. The plan is, I packed all the food into this on Friday. I turned the fridge on. I'm going to take it out now, head over to the house, pick up Charlie and hit the road. There'll be a little bit of road footage. If you're watching this live on a Friday when we launch it, you can't skip the road footage. But if you're watching it at a later date, go to here and you'll see us about two or 300 meters from Sexton's Caravan and Camping Park. But the bit of road footage I will put in, I love going through the Jack Lynch Tunnel in Cork and we have to go through the tunnel to make the way out towards Clonakilty. So we'll probably start the road footage actually at the Jack Lynch Tunnel, I don't know. But you can skip to here if you're not watching live on a Friday. And the next time we talk to you, we will be at Sexton's Caravan and Camping Park in Clonakilty. It's the end of the season. Um, very few campsites stay open in Ireland all year round. And we did touch them. We did review them back. I think last year we might have just done a winter season of three or four sites. And we'll do that again this year, especially if we can find some new campsites that are open all year round. Anyway. Skip to here, the next time we chat to you will be at Sexton's in Clonakilty in County Cork. We have made it to Sexton's Caravan and Camping Park, just outside Clonakilty. Um, first thing we do when we pull in, get the fan on because it's a flipping scorcher. Plug in the electrics and get the makings of a bit of brunch because it's half past one and we haven't eaten. And here's the makings of our brunch. I'm going to make myself a cheese sandwich. You've got to have the Brennan's bread, the potato uh, for the fluid, a bit of butter and a bit of cheese and a plate and a dog who will gladly help me eat it. So that's what we're going to do first, have ourselves a bit of grub. We have walked you around this campsite already, but we will do it again. There have been changes made to the campsite. I know they've added to the playground for the children. There's a great playground here for children. It takes caravans, motorhomes and tents. Very few campsites are not as many campsites taking tents as they used to. So people, this is the place to come if you want to uh, camp in your tent. There's quite a few tents here. I believe there's a festival on in is it Inchidani that's up the road i'm not sure it's into something uh, i'll find out later there's a festival on this weekend so i'd say the park is going to be busy 
We're going to get some grub. Look at you, man. We're going to get some grub and we will chat to you later on when we're walking around. First of all, apologies for the stain on my shirt because I just took a drink before we came out. And of course, I dribbled some. Right, let's take a quick look around where we are now. I'll turn this camera around and show you what few changes have been made here at Sexton's in Clonakilty. So I think I mentioned there's actually a festival on uh, just down the road about 10 kilometers this weekend. So the place is packing up nicely, actually. Big tent area here with power, plenty of parking for cars. Those new cabins over there weren't here the last time we were here. And this wasn't here. Bon appetit. Quality fresh food with a touch of je ne sais quoi. It's basically burgers and chips. Um, I find it a little bit pricey. The feckin' sausages like are a fiver. Hot dogs, six quid. Fish and chips, 11 quid. Chips are pretty much okay at 250. But anyway, I will check that out tonight if it's open. I think that's a coffee dock beside it. They are the toilets in Camper's Kitchen, one of the toilets here. Um, we're parked over near what's known as the Hogan Stand and Con's Corner. If I'm not mistaken, uh, Elaine, who runs this place, I think Con is her dad, so I think that's Con's Corner is his area. When you make your way in, there are plenty of hard stands. They are pretty level. One or two of them have picnic tables on them. Not an awful lot of them have picnic tables. I love the old schoolness of this place, like the cottage is turned into the camper's kitchen and the toilets. The playground is great for kids. There are static units here as well. And as I said, as you can see behind me, plenty, plenty of pitches for tents. And also over where we're parked, there are more pitches for tents. And I'm going to bring you over that way now. I was just talking to Elaine there a second ago. Actually, it's her birthday on Monday, so we'll wish her a happy birthday. And it was her dad's con's birthday last week, so we'll wish him a happy birthday. There is a, over this way, Charlie, there is a laundry room just there. Just a lovely place to sit out here. There's toilets and showers on this area. I'm just letting a car pass here. That red door over there is for uh, an invalid's toilet. And then around the back is where you empty your black water. And there's also a grey water disposal over there. But I want to bring you down to a new walkway that they have put in. Now, this is a dog walk. It's for adults only. They don't really want children unless they're very, very, very well supervised because there's a river at the end of it and it may not really be suitable. So let's turn the camera. We'll walk down through these statics and we go down to the walk, which brings you back out of the playground. It's an absolute fabulous day. I was saying that Inishtig is next. It's actually Timaleeg is the next town and there's a festival on there this weekend. And I think that following weekend, Court, no, Court McSherry is the next village there, or town that you go to just outside here from the campsite. So we can walk in here. It's just a walk area. I think little things like this. Come on, Charlie. Now, if you do bring your dog down this way, you can go over that way and there are seats and i believe the seats are made from you the wood you which is not the cheapest of woods in the world look at this look at the views There's actually a weather station up there on the hill. So the Bon Appetit restaurant, the Chuck Wagon, opens at five o'clock in the evenings. I believe their chips are to die for. And a little seat there to sit down and take this in. Campsite closes around October. It's not open all year round. Somebody's doing a barbecue. And here's the playground. There's a new Jeep has been added to the playground. Just over there, a wooden Jeep. Little wooden teepees. You can crawl under a tunnel, which brings you underneath the lighthouse. There's a shuppa here. And then there are lots of tents. Great tenting area, great size pitches for tents with power.
you will notice that we're pretty close to the road here it's not a very busy road like after tea time and the last time we stayed here we were actually on pitch two right beside the road and it was very quiet And this is where we are. Plenty of pitches. And just in here, as I told you earlier on Con's corner, which is the dad. And it's fine sized pitches, as you can see, with or without power. So before we go into the wrap up here at Sexton's Caravan and Camping Park and I'll give you all of the details of the pricing and the contact details will come up at the end of the video. This video, as I said, is brought to you with thanks to our friends at Pat Horan Motors, the Camper Centre of Ireland. And here is their website. Um, on the website, they now have a shop, but not everything is actually on the shop. OK, you can look at their campers that are for sale, their new campers, their old campers. As I say, they have a shop section, but your best bet is to actually ring Pat Horan Motors and just ask them what you're looking for. They may actually have them in stock. They don't put everything on the website that they actually carry in stock. So log on to pathoranmotors.com and take a look at their website. Take a look at their shop if you're looking for camping related stuff or if you need to get a lens or skylight or air conditioning unit. But your best bet is to give them a buzz first and let them know what you're looking for. And the guys, if they haven't got it, they will definitely point you in the right direction. And thanks again to our friends at Pat Horan Motors for sponsoring this video. Right now, let's get to the wrap up here at Sexton's Caravan and Camping Park. Sexton's Caravan and Camping Park, Timaleague slash Clannacilty, County Cork. It's absolutely beautiful here. You saw from the video, there is lots and lots of big pitches for tents. There's caravans, there's statics here, and then they take mobile homes, or they take motorhomes, and they take camper vans, caravans, cars. It's a beautiful campsite. That I think that addition of the food, which I will check out later on this evening, I think is a great addition for any campsite that serves food. Because sometimes, you know yourself, you get lazy. You're just not in the... Hang on, I'll just move that microphone. You're just not in the humour for cooking. I'm not in the humour for cooking this evening, so I will definitely avail of the chips and make a couple of chip woodies. I have the prices here. The prices on the website are out of date. They're for 2022. So the prices for 2023, subject to change, might I add. A unit, two adults, two children, 36 euro uh, off peak, 42 euro peak. A unit and two adults, 30 euro, 35 euro. A hike a cyclist with a tent, 15 euro, 18 euro peak. Now here are the extra charges. Showers are free, electricity is free, Awnings, now awnings are not your put out awning, but it's a safari room, four euro, extra child, four euro, extra adult, eight euro, extra car, five euro, and XL tents, there is a supplement of five euro if you've got one of them big, small villages as a tent. You get their details on campingireland.ie if you go to Cork, click on Sextons, and the prices have been updated there. Thank you to our friends at Pat Horan Motors for sponsoring this video. Look, the usual look. But in fairness, in fairness, the heat, it's absolutely, absolutely scorching hot here today. That is it. We are, our next video, we will be in Clonakilty yet again, but more about that a little bit later on. All the details, contact details and stuff for Sexons will come up. Contact details for Pat Howard Motors will also come up at the end of the video. We're on Instagram. If you want to check out our Instagram, that's updated practically every single day right down to any of the bills that we have on or just out walking with charlie check out our instagram at charlie and me our camping vlog from me aaron from sleepyhead charlie brown take care of yourselves till we see you again bye bye just before we run the titles myself and charlie went down to the chip wagon bon appetit they do burgers and chips and stuff now i just got a small chip and a couple of sausages for charlie and a drink and here's what we have i think it was seven quid um two sausages bag of chips I think they were 250 two quid and two quid or something like maybe there was a fiver for that much but we're gonna taste them out got a bit of Brennan's bread buttered up they look lovely mm -hmm.